guys, welcome to Dagenham Fire Station. My name is Darren Placid and I am a firefighter for the London Fire Brigade. Been working for the Fire Brigade for 15 years now. We thought we would do a little video for yourself about a bit of safety and what we do in the fire station as well. Okay, so obviously you guys are keeping your safe distances with the COVID-19 pandemic out at the moment. Guys, what we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna do a little run through of what we do if there was a 999 call. So, without further ado, if you'd like to follow me. Right guys, so this is the office. This is where, pretty much where it all happens just before we go out on to a shower. All right, so as, 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 as I said, normally when the bells go down, we would come through, we would come through here, we pick up a call slip, pick up the call slip right here. This actually tells us where we are going. So the last, the last actual um, incident was a cat stuck under a solar panel. There you go, who said we don't, we don't rescue cats? All right, we take the call slip, we actually go over here. So this is the map, this is the station, this is our station ground, all right? If you can see, it is covered in red. All right, that is our station ground. So what they would do is they look at the grid reference and actually take a look. As you can see, you've got 31, 32, and then you've got letters at the bottom. They would take a look, see where it is, and then they would jump straight on to the fire, to the fire engine there, all right? Okay, guys, so what we're gonna actually do, we're actually gonna look at a piece of equipment from what we use if we were going out onto a call out. Okay, so if you guys like to follow me, so this is Tommy. He's going to actually explain about the breathing apparatus set that he's wearing. So go ahead, mate. Good afternoon, guys. My name's Tom. I'm a firefighter at Dagnum. This is a very important piece of kit that we have to wear. It's a breathing apparatus. I wear this on my back, and this is a mask that I would put on my face. And this enables me to breathe in a very smoky room, like a house, just so that we can do all our jobs safely. Right guys, so this is Dave, right, so he's actually going to show us about another piece of equipment, which is cutting equipment. Dave will explain what it is. Go ahead, Dave. Hello everyone, so this is the Hellmat drone. We use this to cut up a car. So we'll turn it on, and then we'll open it up this way. And we can create spaces, and then be able to cut sections of the car apart, and move someone from inside. Right into my fire again. So guys, right, so what we're going to do now, we're actually going to show you guys a little bit of what we do out on the incident ground now. Okay, so as I said before, we're gonna, I'm going to go back into the office, I'm going to drop the bells down, I'm going to go and get the call slip, and then we're going to show you a little practical drill in our, in our front home station yard. Okay, all right, so follow me. Right, so as I said, right, normally the bells will go down, all right, so, You'll hear this. Okay, you'll, you'll hear that. The teleprinter will go off, right? So what we'll do is we'll reprint the message. As you can see, the printer's gone off. We do take the printer roll paper. We go over to the map. As you can see here, it says map reference 32ZC. So 32ZC is pretty much, here we are, pretty much there. All right, once they've done that, once the drivers have done that, they'll jump on to the fire engine as seen. So if you can have a look here, they will jump on. They will jump on here and then they'll drive out and then they'll go to the incident and we're actually gonna show you how they will work if there was a fire on the third floor of a building, all right? Right guys, so we're on the incident ground now. We are just about to do a drill. So as I said before, the fire, the fire engine is gonna come through. They're gonna pitch a ladder up. They're gonna get water to work on the third floor of the tower, all right? So They'll be getting off the engine in the correct fashion. They're ready to get the ladder off. Well. 
So they're just about to put the ladder up. So while the ladder is going up, the water is getting sorted out as well. As you can see guys, the ladder is going up to that third floor. They've made sure the ladder is secure as well. That's it, that is all secure now. Right guys, so the ladder is ready, ready for everyone to climb up here and now they're getting the water ready as you can see. The wall, uh, now they've got all the hose laid out and ready to haul that aloft as well. They're not actually going to carry it up with them. They're going to have two people go up the ladder, throw the line down, throw the piece of rope down and then lift the hose up. So guys, remember we never ever work by ourselves. It's always crews of two. So this one person is going to be going up and then it will be followed by another person as well. Walt was also getting ready, getting nice, getting ready, ready and waiting for the host to go up as well. So they've got the water sorted. They've got it ready from the hydrant. So as you can see, the first firefighter has gone into the building. The next firefighter will be going up to assist as well. He's almost there. Right, so those two are both up now. That is it. So they're just getting the water, water ready for everything now. So the purse, so the, the guys up the top, remember the rope coming all the way down the line. So this firefighter here now is actually going to tie the hose to make sure they can lift it all the way to the third floor. No pressure, Ollie. So we use specific knots in the fire brigade, all right? So this one right here, it's called a rolling hitch. So ro Ollie will use a rolling hitch and then he will use another knot called a clove hitch onto the branch. He will then give a couple of commands up top to make sure they are aware that the hose is going to be coming up. Up top! Hello! Hold up! 
So now Ollie has made sure that they are both, that the hose is secure and it's going up right to that third floor. Well. So now the firefighters on the third floor have got hose up there, so they have got water on. So they will be able to, uh, well in a second, they'll be able to get water on. Now the guys up top will give a command. If you, if you noticed, the person down below uh, made sure they repeated exactly what the people in the building said. He follows the hose around, make sure there's no kinks in it. And they've repeated it just there as well, so to make sure that everyone has communicated it right. And if you've noticed, now the fight Ollie will go all the way around, making sure there's no kinks in at the hose as well. Now, here comes the water on. That's it. There we are. So, uh, as you can see, now all the water is on now. So, we've got four, all water on. Everything's working. Everything's set. Everyone's in place. So now I will give the command knock off makeup, which means they will get the, work, the, the fire's been put out, everything's safe, and now we're gonna put all, the, put all the equipment away. So, after three, one, two, three. Knock off makeup! Knock off makeup! So thank you for watching. So you see what we can do. We've been able to give you a little bit of an insight within that time so remember to stay safe guys 999 is the number for the emergency services make sure you have a working smoke alarm as well and that's all from me